Hello everyone, and welcome to another development update for Shadow Heroes Vengeance and Flames, where we get behind the scenes access to all the things we are currently working on on the game. So yesterday we got a whole bunch of different things done. Uh, we've updated our engine completely now. Uh, almost every bug that we had in it during the transition progress has been uh, kind of ironed out, and now it's now it's working like it's supposed to. Uh, one or two things still left to do is distribution among everywhere inside the office, so everybody has it working properly, and it's all compiling the way that it's supposed to. Uh, and uh, being able to select individual units and hover over objects to make it so they highlight so you know you can click on them. Uh, so those are the two things that we still need to to kind of work on. But other than that, it's it's all working fine. Uh, just to show you, uh, here's our interface as well. Everything's pretty uh, pretty much the same, but there have been some updates. Uh, specifically, a major update in the way that the landscape tool works, or not really works, but the way that it looks. It basically looks it's it's, it's more purple. Uh, I guess the icons kind of look more like what they do. Uh, flatten, will flatten things, and uh, the brush tips here are a little bit more descriptive, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. We have some more uh, options inside of here for the way that we display things uh, when we're showing them, uh, as well as inside of the lit mode and the visibility mode. So right now we're on just the overview, but, or we're not on anything right now, but we could. We can like throw it on overview and get a little bit of everything all at once and see all kinds of different screen windows all at the same time. Uh, and this is basically everything that we're going to be seeing. So all of our normal maps and our opacity maps and light maps and material uh, material information, speculars, and all that kind of stuff. So it's we got more information than we did before, that's for sure. And I, I don't, even, I'm not even sure if this is showing you the new ones. I think these are all just the old ones, but. Yeah, everything's up and running and working well. Uh, I'm going to uh, also show you a little something else as well. Uh, we were working a lot on our Kickstarter video. So we have a bunch of that put together now. And I'm not going to show you the whole thing, but we have a nice little shot here to show you that, yes, we do have some progress being made. Uh, so this is Alex. He's talking about something here. I'm not sure what he's talking about, but uh, he's... He's going to be talking about stuff, and uh, we got everything that's set up here in Premiere. I have other things inside of After Effects that still got to be thrown in over top. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be showing you stuff about how the equipment works and the some more footage of it filtered out, and, or not filtered out, but uh, edited in, rather. Uh, and it's, it's going to be good. You're going to have an idea of exactly what's going on in the game. There's going to be more gameplay in this one. There's uh, all kinds of different things, and kind of goes over them. The, the, the mindset that we had when we were first creating the game and all kinds of fun stuff that we go through during the process. So that's what that's what I got for you guys today. Uh, I'm going to keep on working on this and we'll have more video stuff. Hopefully I get the video done either today or very early tomorrow and then we should be good to go. Hopefully. Uh, I will, I guess I'll uh, talk to you guys later. Let me know what you guys think so far. Uh, if you have any requests about what you want to see, send us a message. Yeah, either you can do a private message to us. You can join our forum and set, leave something for us there. Uh, you can uh, leave a comment here on YouTube and whatever you really want. And I guess I'll talk to you guys next time.